Hi, and welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, August 7th, 2010. This week, Shape Up number 4, Looking at Shapes in a New Way. For the past few weeks, we've been working through our series of video tips that show you how to work with shapes to create interesting accents for your digital projects. Sometimes, making a new shape just means looking at old shapes in a new way. Photoshop and Elements come preloaded with an array of custom shapes. Chances are you've looked at them many times without feeling very inspired, but if you try looking at them with a creative eye, you just might be surprised. The heart, for example, can be supersized, stretched, and tilted to create a great wave across your digital project. Here's how. Begin by opening a new document in Photoshop or Elements. Set the foreground color to a color that contrasts with your background. For the sample, I'm going to choose black and click OK. Get the custom shape tool which rests here on your toolbar, and then make some choices here in the options bar. Select the create a new shape layer icon, and then choose the heart shape from the shape picker drop down menu. In the full version of Photoshop, you'll also need to select the shape layers icon, and then click and drag out a huge heart without holding down the shift key. Let it stretch out way larger than your canvas. Then get the Move tool and press Ctrl-T or on a Mac system Command-T to get the transform controls. This places a bounding box around your heart or any other shape that you drag out and this allows you to resize it and reposition it. Position your cursor over the side handle. When the cursor changes to a curved arrow, you can twist the heart around to make a large wave across your page, and then move it into place. You can make it larger or smaller by going here to the corner handles and dragging inward to make it smaller, or dragging away from the center to make it larger. When you're happy with it, click the check mark to confirm the tilt. To make more waves, begin by clicking the Create a New Layer icon here in the Layers panel. Get a different color in the Options bar. I'll get gray and click OK, and then drag out another heart. Get the Move tool and press Ctrl T to get your transform controls, and then move your cursor to the side handle and twist your heart to get a new wave. Hold the control key or on a Mac system the command key and grab the corner handle to warp your shape even more. Click the check mark to confirm and then you can stack waves to create a fun summer page accent. Use the wave shapes as clipping masks to digitally glue pattern papers to your design and create a whole new look with the kits that you purchase. What else can you make with your custom shape tool? Try supersizing a few shapes to get a different perspective on their potential this week. We'd love to see your pages in our idea gallery. Thanks for watching. Check back next week for the next tip in our Shape Up series. I always enjoy hearing from you. Is there a technique that has you stumped? Email me at howtoatdesignerdigitals.com with your idea, and I may be able to help you with a video tip too. Better shape up, cause I need a man, and my heart is set on you, my heart is better shape up.